movie time, cinematic moments, everything is when slow mo. Brother punches me right there. As I was turning towards him. <laughs> so imagine the force of me going, what the? Blah! And then me just see my teeth just like. Uh, all 40 of you, I appreciate you guys. All 40 of you are unique listeners weekly now. We need to grow that up to 100 and then from 100 and we get to 1,000. But first, guys, please share, like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. But anyways, so the story of how I lost my teeth. <clears throat> this was um, January 2019. Just before the pandemic happened. And I think I remember this was the, this was the last holiday I've been on as, as well. Um and i went on holiday to spain it was a convenient in the moment type of holiday in the sense that follow me here i had a friend an old friend um who was getting married in his hometown called alicante in spain south of spain cl very close to valencia and um so buddy you know what I mean, we're pretty close, like, we've been friends for, like, maybe a couple of years now. And he's like, yo, bro, like, I'm getting married, but I'm not getting married in London. I mean, we're going to do one in London, but one in Alicante as well. Do you want to come to both? I was like, yo, it's just Spain. It's down the road, bro. Well, it's not down the road, but if you're in London before Brexit, Spain was down the road. Now that Brexit's happened, I, I'm not sure. Um, I'm like, cool, yeah, let's do it. Let's plan it. Might as well just make a holiday out of it. First week, so I went there for two weeks. First week, we'll do bachelor party, fucking your wedding, meet your family, all of that thing there, enjoy it. And then the second week, I'm going to fly out my babe over there and then me and my babe are going to just cool it for a week in the sun. It, amazing, right? What, what, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Right, so... I get to Spain, I get to Alicante, beautiful, beautiful scenery, such a beautiful fucking town. I will recommend you go visit. And it's super cheap, like everything's fucking cheap. Like the, the Airbnb costs us like maybe 200 pound for a week. Like, actually no, sorry, for two weeks. Like that's crazy, that's unheard of in the UK, pretty much. <laughs> And, and by the way, the reason why I say that is because it's, it was a very nice apartment. It was almost like a villa. But anyways, that's that's besides the point. So um, I get to Alicante and, you know, what I mean, I'm celebrating my bro my brothers like he take he's taking me around. Well, I say my brothers, but my brother, but he has his friends there as well. So we came kind of close kind of brothers um, around the time that I spent with them guys and we went around, you know what I mean, trying to find out, like, trying to sightsee, like, he's trying to take me around his little town, like, you know, being all touristy, taking pictures, this, that, and the third. And um, maybe about two days after I landed, then it was his bachelor party, right? And being the type of guy that he is, I, by the way, this guy's younger than me, being the type of guy that he is, he don't like hoes. And this is like his girlfriend that he's had since like since he was like 16. So he don't move to girls like that. And he has three kids with her. So like their relationship is very, very serious. So strippers was out of the way. I suggested we go get some hoes. That didn't happen. And I don't know when next I'm going to get a chance to do that. So my nigga, like you, you stole my dreams from me. So I hope you're happy with that. But anyways, um... Getting heavily drugged up wasn't a choice either for a bachelor's party. And I wasn't the best man either, by the way. We were close friends, but I wasn't his best friend or nothing. And the best man wasn't a let's have fun type of guy, neither, right? So he wanted to go to... Wait for it. <clears throat> just, just wait. Just give me, give me a second. Give me a second. I don't even know the name of these places. See them places that they have all the fucking bouncy... Um, Car it's not a bouncy castle, but it's like them bouncy fucking things, and they've got the basketball hoops and that. I I have no idea what the fuck they're called, but they're like fucking action arenas or whatever the fuck. K 
kids little kids go there and bounce off off of one thing to another off of one thing you you know what i'm talking about if i remember i'll put like a little picture or video of the type of scenario right here so i hear this now i'm pissed because i'm like what the fuck type of lame ass bachelor party is this but i'm the type of person that i don't really i don't really like i don't really like putting someone down do you know what I'm saying? So I kept it to myself. I was like, that's some lame ass shit. So I kept it to myself. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing to no one. <laughs> so when it came time for us to actually go down there, we went down there. We, we did have fun. It was incredible. Ah, okay. I take that back. It wasn't incredible, but it was okay. Like if it was like 11, 12, it would have been incredible, but it was grown men jumping around like trying to have fun anyways was jumping around jumping around jumping around jumping around jumping around and i um laid my eyes on this beautiful spanish specimen of a woman right and y'all know how i am i see a beautiful woman and i not that i lose composure but i just go for it and i'm not really thinking of anything else do you get what I'm saying? I just like, I'm just like, cool, you're on my side. Unless she, she's like, nigga, I, I'm not interested in your talk then. I, 180, just, I mean, just go the other way. But she was feeling me. I was feeling her. The one thing she didn't tell me though, is that her boyfriend um, was in the vicinity. Just outside in the car park. He didn't want to come in with the kids, which I understand because me and this nigga could have had something in common. I didn't want to be there either. I'll be honest with you. I did not want to be there at all either. But um, I'm cooling with Shorty now. You know what I mean, spitting one, two, three games. It was a little bit difficult because she didn't understand much English and I didn't understand much Spanish. But she understand a lot more English than I understood Spanish. So it was decent but just not as smooth as it could have gone but i could tell she was feeling me definitely 1000 percent. so i'm talking 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 now and at this point i leave my boys like the boys that they're, they're in some cage playing football bouncing around and shit i'm like all right cool i'm gonna go do some grown man shit and i'm talking to this girl right i leave them maybe we're talking for like maybe 20 minutes now her man walks in into the into the little arena place right and at this point i do not see him because my back is to the door. First mistake. And sure, he carries on talking to me like a man didn't just walk in. I, maybe she didn't see him. I don't know. Either way, I don't know. All I know is this nigga walks in, taps me in the back. This whole time that the nigga walks in and taps me in the back, I'm having a conversation with his girl. His girl couldn't tell me. First of all, I'm sorry, I forgot to let you know. I have a boyfriend. And secondly... He's right behind you. Could've given me a heads up. She didn't. But it's cool. Nigga tap on my shoulder. I'm like, the fuck? Like, because I'm thinking this girl is single, right? And I'm not even thinking this could be her boyfriend, nothing like that. I'm just like, what the fuck is this nigga? Like, can't you see I'm hollering? After I finish hollering, then maybe you can have your own chance. Like, it's just bro etiquettes. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was a little bit pissed off. And I looked at my bro. I was like, oh, lo, 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 lo siento, lo siento, lo siento. Mistake number two. Don't speak Spanish or any other language when you're not really sure what the fuck it meant. Now, lo siento, I thought meant, hey man, relax. Like, relax, man, you have your turn. That, that's, what I, that's what I was trying to tell buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, relax, man, you have your turn. First of all, telling a man that he have his turn for his own girlfriend is disrespectful. But... At the time, I had no idea they even knew each other. And at this point, she still was not telling me shit. And she's acting like everything's normal. By the way, fair women. Anyways. So, I turned back around and I carried on talking to her. And but now, Buddy's like... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, almost grabbing my neck. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck wrong with this freaky ass nigga, man? We don't want to free some nigga. Let me fuck first and then you can fuck nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you, you fuck nigga? So, I get pissed off and high rated. I turn around like, what the, what the, hey, it's about to, boom, my fucking face, teeth flies out. I watch, you know, them, in the movies, when something tragic happens to the main character and they watch their life flash in front of their eyes, they wasn't really expecting it at all because this guy was, he was big, he was big, but I'm, 
I'm one of those people that I don't really care how big you are, whatever. I'll still be myself, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't really. I'm not scared or intimidated by people, people's size, whatever the fucking case may be. But I am smarter than that, and I did. I still didn't know that this was this girl's boyfriend. Anyways, movie time, cinematic moments. Everything is one slow mo. Brother punches me right there. As I was turning towards him. <laughs> so imagine the force of me going, what the? And then me just see my teeth just like. Now I'm pissed. I'm like, barely talking, blood all on my fucking hands. So I'm like, and at this point, I don't even know what to think. Because I'm like, what the fuck, bro? It's not that deep. There's so many girls in this place you could go move to. Why you go move to the girl that I'm currently moving to? I'm even giving you the chance to go move to her after I'm done. I'm not going to be in Spain for too long. And again, maybe it's come up because I had a girlfriend at the time. But that, that's another story for another time. But anyways. That happened. And then shorty want to go, yeah, now it's my boyfriend. Ah, he's so crazy. Why are you doing blah, blah, blah? Why are you doing that to him? Now she acts like, I'm like, you're, you're what? I'm there. I'm like, you're what? You're what? You're what? You're what? You're what? You're what? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. So I, I run to the toilet to go look at my situation and get rid of my situation. I didn't even try to punch body back because as soon as it punches me and she's like, that's my boyfriend. I'm like, you know what fuck it like cool no problem no whatever like i need to clean my fucking face anyways so i went to the toilet tried to freshen up and shit um the shit did not um look good at all because my whole fucking front tooth was missing and it just yeah that's the story of how i lost my front tooth i i just thought you guys might be interested in that um it's not too exciting but after that did happen though i went back outside to try to find this guy because he was on site now. Because it went from, I don't know this nigga, why the fuck is this nigga trying to be like, oh, cool, that's her boyfriend. And then something switched to my brain, like, wait, hold on, even if you are her boyfriend, why ain't you just have a conversation with me? I'll be like, yo, that's my girl. But he didn't say nothing the whole time. Actually, now that I think about it, but he was speaking in Spanish. I just didn't understand what the fuck he was saying. And I just kept telling him, lo siento, lo siento. Which means silence, by the way. <laughs> Imagine nigga moving to your girl and he turns around and be like silence silence that's what I was doing to this guy so like in retrospect after I thought about it I was like okay cool I see why he was mad but in the moment I was heated and I couldn't understand for the life of me why the fuck this nigga wanted to punch me in the face and punched me in the face and made me lose a teeth a tooth a tooth tooth yeah that's the proper word but anyways um me being Nigerian that I am um I got the girl's number and I fucked her couple days after that um just kind of felt good you know what i mean it's like revenge because when i came back out they tried to fight brethren he left he left him and the girl left didn't see them no more my brain just came out like, oh, what's going on what's going on i was like bro you lot didn't even back it man take it but anyways that's a story about how i lost my tooth it's not as interesting as um, you might you might think. If you got if you got any more questions for me about my tooth, a lot of people think I should be ash- actually. I don't think a lot of people think I should be ashamed of it. But the vibe that I get from people that are like close close to me, like close friends, is like, oh, you should get that fixed because people will laugh at you. And I'm just like, let them laugh at me. I really don't give a fuck. I'm not that insecure. I'm very confident in who I am, whether I have two teeth or thirty two teeth. Anyways, um, yeah. So that's how I lost my tooth.